Good morning, and now we have another exciting speaker talking about the creativity and how we will create a better world for everyone. With us today, we have Cameron Sinclair, a pioneer in socially responsive architecture. In 1999, he co-founded Architecture for Humanity, a charitable organization that developed architectural solutions for humanitarian crisis and brought professional design and construction services to underserved communities. In 2018, he created the Harmony for Harmony, a challenging project that turns weapons into musical instruments. A discourse to listen with attention, everyone. Thank you, Cameron. Good morning. Um, this is Cameron Sinclair. I am co-founder and CEO of World Changing Ventures and the executive director of Armory of Harmony. Um, I'm a designer, an architect um, that has been working on areas of uh, post-disaster, post-conflict reconstruction, as well as responding to areas of need, whether it's uh, responding to lack of healthcare, education, or housing around the world. I did that originally through Architecture for Humanity, and then with the Jolie Pitt Foundation, and eventually working with Airbnb on their humanitarian work. But today, I'm going to talk about how you can utilize creativity to make positive impact on the planet. But more importantly, that we need to live the world that, that we want to see. So. A couple of years ago, I began looking at what are the next future crises that we're gonna see. Because as an architect, as a designer, you're not designing and building for now. You're designing and building for the next generation. You know, your homes, your, 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 your products should be utilized by those that you won't even ever get to see, that, that are your um, grandchildren's age. So looking at the way the climate was 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 changing uh, in North America. I realized that in the next 20, 30 years, that this country is going to see uh, tens of millions of climate refugees. Unlike refugees that I had dealt with around the world, uh, these are people that have a, a standard of living that they just won't um, give up. Um, they de demand um, Wi-Fi at all, all times. They demand uh, energy at all, uh, all times, access to clean water, um, uh, good uh, uh, living uh, situations, uh, as well as education and health. You know, and what we're beginning to see is that the climate is affecting um, certain parts of the United States and people are beginning to be forced from their land or from their home. So. In co-founding World Changing Ventures, what we wanted to be able to do is design for those futures, but design them in a way not as a band-aid or as a crisis situation, but as an alternative to the way that we're living today. And in order to do that, you have to live it. So why am I here and not on a weird Zoom screen? Well, since the beginning of this year, um, I have been living on a 600 acre farm in upstate New York, um, known as Wally Farms. Um, this is a climate action lab, a place where experimentation happens for um, solutions to the climate crisis. Um, we are here as housing fellows, my co-founder Dara Dots and myself. And, you know, part of my challenge was, you know, if I want to create um, beautiful um, housing that anyone could live in, that can, can um, operate and, and function anywhere, um, I have to live it. So um, this is my off-grid A-frame. Um, this is a, a small two-bedroom cabin um, that I've been living in for the last few months. It's fully uh, off-grid, um, connected to a nearby solar array. Um, I have, you know, acres and acres of farmland behind me that are growing vegetables. Um, I even have um, a much smaller vegetable garden, um, which you see right here. Um, and so, you know, not only am I learning about how to uh, design and build off-grid, but I'm how to live. And so, um, you know, one of the first lessons that I think uh, we as designers really need to take on board is it doesn't matter how many books you read and it really doesn't matter how many lectures you listen to and it doesn't matter how many YouTube videos of how to do things um, that you watch. You have to embrace the future that you want to see. And so, um, you know, <laughs> even though, you know, I've been quite accomplished in, the, in this field, you know, I, I 
I haven't lived completely off grid uh, by myself um, for many, 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 many years. So, you know, how can I design for that? So, um, kind of the R and D that we've been doing is not just looking at material science and not just connecting with you know AI companies to do um, efficiencies in HVAC and other utility systems, but a very basic thing, which is live the life that you want to create. Um, so I think what we're going to do next is I'm going to show some video uh, videos and some uh, slides of some of the projects that I've worked on over the last few years. I'm going to talk a little bit about Armory of Harmony, which is a really unique project that is um, smelting down weapons and turning them into musical instruments. Uh, and then I'll end talking um, just on, on, on what next uh, and how we can create um, not just a sustainable future, but one in which everybody has um, the basic right to um, you know health education and housing so
Well, thank you very much, Cameron. Um, and we would like to see the developments of the projects that were presented today. Thank you.